Who's captain of this ship? Looking at her. I, her. That's right. I, a woman, am captain. Shocking as shit, I know. Okay. Um. Hmm. Real quick. What's up, guys? My name is Patrick, and welcome to episode 40 of The Witcher 3. I know that was a weird cutscene to start on, but as you can see here, we are trying to get to Skellige, some place that I've been trying to go for a long time. This game is taking me a very, very, very long time to Let's Play, and I apologize for that, but I want to thank everyone who's tuned in for all these episodes so far. Thank you guys for being a dedicated fan base. Today, we're starting off with talking to captains and seeing which one is crazy enough to deal with the clans in Skellige. For those of you that don't know, Skelligers, as they're referred to people of Skellige Isle, they are, well, they're Barmy. And if you don't know what Barmy means, they like to fight, they like to curse, they like to fuck, they like to drink. Pretty much pirates. Pirates with a different accent. That is what they like to do. And no one likes to go there because all the Skelligers do is they plunder. They plunder everything. And what they don't plunder, the black ones, the Nilfgaardians will plunder over. So, if you're lucky enough to survive a Skelliger attack, you're probably just going to end up getting boarded by the Nilfgaardians anyway. So it's pretty much a, a catch-22 scenario. So right now, what Geralt and I are doing is we are on the process of, we're in the process of looking for a captain crazy enough to take us there. So let's see what this woman thinks. Will you take me to Skellige, please? Need to get to Skellige. Not on this boat, you won't. Pay you well. The Islanders live off plunder in the seas. Not willing to risk that. Yeah, but have you ever been there? It's really pretty. Kind of like you. Sort of. Ever sailed there? Listen, the Islanders attack all ships. When they hate someone, Nilfgaard for instance, they attack him more. But truth be told, not much more. Lord did me once. Expect they wanted to see if I had Captain's bollocks. That spot of fun gave me enough Skellige for a lifetime. Well, can't argue with that. Not going to force a woman to do what she doesn't want to do, because Geralt's not like that. Um, moving on! Shit. One glance tells me all I need to know about You're right, I guess it does. should tell a lot of people. I am pretty amazing looking. Anyway, let's go to this next captain. Quite a rainy day to ask for a ask for a boat ride, right? Doesn't seem like this is the best weather for a boat ride. Oh, you guys also might have noticed I got my hair cut. I went back to a traditional Care More and Witcher hairstyle, and um, I actually was clean-shaven, like, a day ago, but Geralt grows a beard like a motherfucker, so... Captain? Captain, where's your captain at? This deck's to shine like the silver on the Emperor's table. Yeah, it'll never get there. Good luck, though. I admire your commitment. Captain! Cap no clue. Breaking somewhere, as I reckon. Right, always. Alright. Fuck. Lazy captain. We got one more ship we gotta try out. I'm guessing this is probably the one that's gonna give me, um, give me the ride. What are you? You seem like a glitch. I'm gonna try and fix that. Nope. Unfixable. Screw it. It's a floating bucket. Fuck it. It's a floating bucket. It'll float there forever. <sighs> Man, I actually, uh, I rebuilt my desk and everything, and I readjusted where my PC is on my desk, so everything's kind of weird. Sound quality might sound a little bit weird right now. We're back to the trial and error way of doing things. I have to try a couple of things out and see what works the best and sounds the best, but hopefully I retain some of my, some of my really good sound quality. Anyway, this is the last ship we have to try. I'm hoping, I mean, pretty obvious this is the one that's going to give me the... Right, I guess. No, they were actually just talking about Skellige. That's unsettling. Doesn't seem like he's probably going to want to go there. I hope he doesn't have a choice. I'm guessing you're the captain. What's up? You captain of this tub? What's it to you? Hmm. Well, I mean, I need to get to Skellige, buddy. I'm Skellige bound. Need to get there. Start swimming. Islanders, the black ones, all attackers in those waters. No one sails the route these days. Come on. Clans are ready to deal. Leave you alone if you do. 
Someone's done it. Gotta have. Not likely. Except maybe that daft bastard Wolver's done from the Atropos. A liar, a thief, and a bugger, that one. He might have parlayed with the sea swine. Hmm. Where can I find him? In a pigsty most times. Others, the Golden Sturgeon. Ask for Flask. Everyone knows him. Son of a bitch. So that ship was also a bust. All I know is somebody's got a boat, and that somebody just happens to be a drunken asshole. Alright, so this is the Golden Sturgeon. I kind of thought it was that guy in the back. I'm actually going to go pick up a quest real quick, because there was a guy... Yeah, that little exclamation point back here. Talk to this guy real quick. Because he had some business in Skellige. Maybe he'll give me a ride for free. A witcher? Oh, hear about the notice by chance? Uh, what's the notice about again? I remember you said something about Skellige before. Not quite, but what's it about? I hear right, you're going on some voyage, need a companion. Not just some voyage, cross the sea. Mark this, when I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved let I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either, a black one, the rarest and most precious. Well, well, ambitious. Perhaps, but they were empty words. I came from the war, that one and the next, but I never fulfilled my promise. My time to change that. For if not now, then when? Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone, need a strong shoulder to lean on. And the witcher's shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? Alright, I'll help you. I hope this, um... You know, I hope this gets me a ride to Skellige. Plan's crazier than it is sane. But there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds fine. See you there. God damn it! I shouldn't be too mad. I have a Skellige quest. Yay, it's my first Skellige quest. It's called the Black Pearl, and motherfucker, I thought that was going to get me a Wind goddamn sound. ride. Uh, let's go talk to the liar, the thief, and the swindler. It's probably Jack Sparrow. That's who I'm about to talk to. Get the fuck out of my way, you drunk piece of shit. You alright? I heard a woman's voice, but I did not see a woman ask me for a kiss. Alright, you. Didn't you have a beard last time? in this city. Racial hygiene's as poor as their personal hygiene. Anyway, so that's our asshole captain. I guess. Kinda looks like a bugger. Alright, let's go talk to him. You, Wolverston, captain of the Atropos. So you wanna know if I'm Atropos, captain of the Wolverston? No fucking clue, mate. I need to get to Skellige. My Atropos and me, we're due to sail for Ard Skellig, carrying grain, but that's our shush. Got any coin? Ah, uh, uh, a thousand coins! Ah, uh, is this really my only option? Okay, alright, I, I know I was saving this money for something. Yeah, I'll pay you, but not willingly! Here, that enough? Hefty sack, like a bull's. When do we sail? Not sure you're ready. You can barely stand. Know this, stranger. Captain Wolverston never sails sober. The sea goes one way, Wolverston the other. Makes the rock unbearable. So, ready to set sail? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Ah, first, we must drink to the wind, to good fortune, and to the strength of my Atropos. <sighs> Anchors away! Finally get to go to Skellige! I'm so happy! I'm so excited! That was beautiful, by the way.
All right, guys, here we go. Ah, shit! Should have expected this. What? Lost your nerve? Alright, so I gotta switch to Quen. Okay, I gotta eat something. By the way, I got a perk. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, another thing. I switched to Death March difficulty. I don't know if that was something you guys knew from before. But yeah, I was playing on the second to hardest difficulty because I wanted to enjoy the game. And someone told me, if you're not playing on the hardest, you're not playing the game. And I was like, yeah, you're probably right. It's not too much different, I reckon, from this, so I might as well try it out. So, it's actually, it's just a little bit more challenging. People fight a little bit more realistically. They block a lot more. Um... Ow! And another thing that they do... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Back off or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not afraid of dying. Uh, okay. You a clan of Van Crate or do you rob corpses much? I did just try robbing. Rob corpses much, dick? Rob every corpse that washes up on shore? Taken from a corpse ain't theft. I'm a man of the isles. I don't reap, I don't sow. The waves bring me my harvest. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah, thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Horn Skellig. There's a wetch at Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. Um, what's Cratch's guest look like? Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you think she was a beached orca? Fact is, even those who see her for a wench should gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. Um. I was gonna say sorcerers can be like that. Now, before I, he said, "Oh, don't like her." No one really likes sorcerers. I knew that. I don't want to tell him sorcerers can be like that because we know I don't really agree with this guy. So I'm just gonna say I'm gonna slap him. What's your name? Staingrim. Well, Staingrim, I don't like you. In fact, I feel like slapping you. Go ahead, Drifter. You try. <laughs> Skelligers usually like to talk with their hands anyway. That's right. You can take a knee to the face, dude. Had enough. Best finish me now. Cause you'll be fucked once I catch my breath. It was a good fight. That's enough for now. Know the way to Kertrolda? I expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. 
Thanks. So long. See? Fighting people. It's the best way to get what you want. Very quickly. Roach, what are you doing in these waters? Alright. Moving on. Oh, um... One of the things I wanted to tell you guys, other than I switched to Death March difficulty, I mean, that's pretty... Come on, Roach. You know, obvious. I also got this perk. I want to call it a perk. I got this character skill for Geralt that allows 20 minute vitality regeneration uh, when food is consumed. Which, if you don't know, on any difficulty higher than the easy ones, like the middle difficulties or above, um, all vitality regeneration is basically non-existent. Like, it used to regenerate during meditation if you're on the easier difficulties, but when you're on the harder difficulties, you heavily have to rely on things like potions and alchemy. Um, one of the perks that I got allows vitality to regenerate for 20 minutes upon eating one thing. And I've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of things of food. So, it's gonna be a really useful perk. But yeah, I've never, never, ever been to Skellige, guys. Like, the reason I'm going so slow and the reason this might be a longer Let's Play is because I really want to take a look at things. I really want to get my, uh, feel for the land, feel for the people. I feel like I'm playing Skyrim. I'm supposed to go meet a, a Jarl, I think, is what that guy said. I'm not That's not 100% on that, but I'm pretty sure he said Jarl. Doesn't seem too out of character for Skelligers. I told you, by the way, getting plundered and shit in the high seas. That's exactly what happened to us. We got fucking screwed. Hello. Good people, good folk. All right, I hate to cut this a little short, but I'm probably going to fade this out and meet you guys in Kertrold. Whoa. Oh. That is awesome looking. Holy crap. Welcome to Kertrold, people. Not so fast, Roach. Hey, you. See you're settling in like a ship's run aground. Wanted to look around. I'd like to know where I've landed. <sighs> That's that asshole from the beach. <laughs> Lots of quests. Okay. Wait. Yen? Yennefer? Our time amongst the living is but the wake of an eye. Oh, funeral. Okay. What's left? You need not do this, child. I know, but I want to. This madness. Such a young lass. Erna should be the one going. They shared a bed longer. Silence. It is her decision.
You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. King Bran of Clan Twirsech has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That will be a good day. You knew Bran? This isn't a time for flirting. You knew Bran? Yes. He was well respected. Unlike his wife. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates of Caer Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. Let me think. I want to run away with spend some time alone, not in the mood for a wake. Will you go to the wake with me? I, Geralt, I know for a fact, new King Bran, and he knows that guy up there with the long beard. Geralt ages much slower than normal humans, so a lot of the people around him have died, have lived full lives and died in the time that Geralt's only lived a short span, technically. I mean, he ages kind of like reverse dog years. So, yeah, and go to the wake with me. We both knew this guy, so let's go pay our respects. Come to the wake with me. Gladly. Feasts in Skellige. So predictable. Slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah. Nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanid? You were there. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. really hate it when you read my mind. Stop reading my mind. Something to hide? Don't like secrets? No. Did you learn anything in Venom? As far as Velen's concerned. Velen. Awful place. Somehow Ciri wound up at the castle of the local ruler, a baron, self-proclaimed. This was after she was injured. Injured? Was it serious? Don't think so. Must have recovered because this baron sent her on to Novigrad. Think she was looking for you at the time. These witches Ciri came across, she was lucky to escape them. Witches? Creatures more like. Can't say exactly what they are, but they're dangerous. Very. Also ran into an old friend of ours in Velen, Kira. What on earth is Kira Metz doing in that wasteland? Hiding from witch hunters. Listen, she told me an elven mage had been there looking for Ciri. Good. You'll need to tell me more when we have some time. As far as Novigrad's concerned... Been to Novigrad. Ciri was there, looking for a way to lift some curse. She's not there anymore. You're certain? Hearted from Dandelion, with no embellishments. Do you know any more about this curse? Not much. Ciri ran into some trouble, never finished what she went there to do. I recovered a phylactery. She was looking for a way to enchant it. I'll look at it later. What about you? What have you learned here? I know it took me a long time to get here, I'm sorry about that. This is actually a pretty good recap. Episode 40 might be a good place for some people to start. How about you? What have you learned? 
Something strange happened on Art's Gallig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. Ermion is chief druid here? Ermion's head of the Skellige Circle? Haven't seen him since... Since Siri was a little girl, I doubt he'll do you any favors, not even for old time's sake. Why won't they let you examine this zone? By the way, if you guys want a little bit more information, real quick, the disaster to which she's referring to, I don't know specifically what it is, but if it involves Siri, I can tell you what might have happened. Basically, Siri is a child of the Elder Blood, which means she holds within her immense magical power, and she's not very good at controlling it. So imagine, like, Someone with the power to set off an atom bomb whenever they want, but they just don't know how to control whenever they want. You know what I mean? It's like their finger's always on the button, and depending on their emotions, it'll just kind of get set off. I'm kind of guessing that's what happened. And Skelligers are pretty hard and hardy, as you saw from the cast of characters when we panned left to right in that uh, eulogy scene before. You can see that people here are hard, they're very protective, they're very close, uh, close to each other and clan-minded, so... I have a good idea that there's some huge explosion that happened. So why won't they let you examine the zone? You're a sorceress. You're more equipped than anyone, maybe even the druids, to deal with this. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf! Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake. And I'll not accept any excuses. I have an important matter to discuss with you. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krak, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go. Choose something. In the meantime, I've something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. All right, guys, here we are in Skellige, and we are in Kertrolde, I believe. I totally already forgot the name of this place. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of hard-to-pronounce names, a lot of Skyrim-y sounding people. Krach an Kreit. This is going to be weird. I'm going to sound very French. But thank you guys so much for tuning in to episode 40. Thank you all for tuning in to my Witcher series. Um, I think after this episode, I am really just going to take a small break. Finish the... I'm finishing this episode here, but I'm going to take a small break record the wake as my episode 41 and then i'll get to playing around in skellige a little bit we'll have some fun quests and everything to do but yeah i look forward to finding the ursine gear i look forward to having a lot of fun in this weird hardy place with all these weird fight loving people Geralt's probably going to see a lot of people he knows and my god this is a whole new kind of animal but anyway guys thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you guys in the next episode until next time Friends we show heart, foes we show our axe.